All right, so Python, how to handle division by zero. Today we're gonna to learn how to handle dividing by zero in Python. So you can see I have some output here already, but um, let's clear this output and go through this a little bit more methodically. So um, let's, uh, let's comment these out and we're gonna do these one at a time. So I'm gonna comment these out. So basically we have two, there's two different ways we could try handling division by zero in Python. Now, um, I put two functions. Now, both of these functions basically do the same thing. This first function takes a numerator and a denominator. It divides the numerator by the denominator and returns the result. But if the denominator is a zero, um, you are going to return a zero. So it will just return a zero for the, so basically if you're dividing by zero, it's just gonna silently return zero and assume that's the correct result, whether it is or not. Um, the real result is undefined, but rather than you know just having your script die or anything, it's just gonna return a zero. It's an easy way to, to do things if you, know, you expect to be dividing by zero a lot and you don't want your script to die, but you don't want it to behave or, or die in strange ways. You just want it to kind of continue on and have expected behavior. This is a really, it's a nice way to do things and it, um, it's a less disruptive way to do things, and if that won't hurt the logic of your program or mess up your data, by all means do that. If you want the script to die on division by zero like it should never happen, then you might pick something else. But um, that, that's, a, that's also efficient because there's no overhead of, of exception handling or anything like that. Now the second function, function two, does the same thing. It takes numerator denominator, and it tries to divide the numerator by the denominator, it will try, does, has a try statement here, and if it works, it's gonna divide one by the other and return the result. But if it doesn't work, as in if there's a, a divide by zero error or a zero division error, as it's called, um, it's going to raise, it's gonna, it's gonna have this exception, and um, it's going to, so we have accept zero division error, and so it's gonna run what's in this exception clause, but it's it's also has that, it has this exception defined as an E, it says as E. So now the E variable will hold that actual error message from that from the, that exception. That, and so we can print out E to get our actual error message. And then we're just gonna go ahead and return zero anyways, in case you wanna keep, have your script moving along. Now, if you wanted your script to die, you could, you could say, um, you know, exit. You could call exit or something like that here instead. But we're just gonna return zero anyways, so this basically functions the same way as this one up here, but if it's a zero, it's gonna print out a little message. Now we could have done that in the first function by just doing like an if, we could say if d equals zero, um, print out a message, hey, you're dividing by zero. We could do that too. But in the second function, we just decided to do a, a try accept. So anyways, Let's, let's, so the first thing we're gonna do is try doing something where we're gonna get an expected result not dividing by zero. So we're gonna call function one and we're gonna divide eight by two and print the result. So um, not too exciting here. Um, whoops, I did not save this. So let me go ahead and save this script, clear this output, and there we go, four. So dividing eight by two is four, not, not too exciting. So let's say if we uncomment the second one. Now dividing eight by zero is going to give us zero, because even though it's undefined, we just told it to return zero. Now note for these first two, we just called function one. Now let's comment out both of those calls to function one and uncomment a call to two calls to function two. And let's save it, and let's go over here and run this again. So run this, and you'll notice the first call where we divide eight by two, it gives us four. And then we divide eight by zero, and it gives us a zero, but it also says integer division by modulo, integer division or modulo by zero. So that's this line right here, print E, that's printing the exception message, and the exception message that Python gives you is this exactly, integer division or modulo by zero. So um, there you go, that's what happened, that's, that's how you can handle that. So um, yeah, you can 
say if we comment this out and just run that one. So running function two dividing by zero. Let's try this again. And boom, so there we go. Gives us that same um, exception message and a zero. Now we, we could also, let's try to edit this a bit. Um, you could say if d equals equals zero, print uh, division by zero, division by zero. So write that out. Now let's call function one. Now that we've modified function one, let's call it and let's, uh, we're gonna call it with eight and zero. So we're gonna try to divide eight by zero. And there we go. It, uh, it returns a zero and it says division by zero. That's our custom message. That's not from the exception over here. That's our custom message we put right here in function one. Now, Let's see what else we could do with this. Um, say if we, if when it divides by zero, we want it to have a, we want it to, to die or something. We could say exit, and I forget if this works in Python. Say exit one, so one being, you know, signifying that there's an error. All right, so let's see if this works. Division by zero, and notice now it didn't return a zero. It just exited before it could even get to this print statement. Before this function could even return, this function never returned. Once it got to this point, it said we're, we're dividing by zero. It exits right out and the whole script dies. And we, we don't even return to, to where the function was called to print out the result. So that's why you see division by zero and no result. So let's try that over here. Let's say um, you could say exit one, you can actually remove this return. I feel like everywhere should have a return statement even if it will never get run, but yeah, there's no point in having that there. So let's let's go like this, let's write that out. Now exit one. Now let's try, try this with function two. Same thing with function two. All right, this is another way you could handle it. So run it and there you go. Gives us the exception message, integer division or modulo by zero modulo, yeah, um, and then it just, the script exits and it doesn't even print out the result, which would have been zero. So there you go. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. That's how to handle divide by zero in Python. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, um, give me a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. If you want to see more things like that, subscribe, click the little bell icon. And um, if you have any questions, comments, or or criticism or anything you want to say, leave a comment down below. I, I want to hear what you have to say. And um, if, if I, I'll try to get through all the comments and if I can, I'll answer whatever questions I can. So yeah, definitely leave a comment below. And if you want to see a write-up on this or copy code snippets, check the link in the description. It's going to lead you to my site that has um, all of this stuff and it's going to have a little write-up on this and it has a lot of other great content too. So definitely click the link in the description uh, as well as subscribing to the channel and leaving a comment. And um, as always, thanks for watching.